imagine a dude, let's say some sort of rockin' dude, who said that he was going to do a vlog a week for a year and felt an obligation to meet his goal and not let down his viewers. Despite some days of maybe feeling a little under the weather, maybe a little tired, maybe even not feeling up to sitting in front of the camera, this dude did it. He kept his word to himself and his friends, and he managed to not miss a single upload for a year. Just goes to show you, you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it, even if you're... I don't care what J-Rock thinks, honestly. Hey everybody, J-Rock here, and welcome to episode 53 of Between a Rock and a Hard Place. This is the one-year episode, finally, the anniversary special. Uh, and also, don't know if you noticed, but that new song there in the intro, that is by the band Crazy Licks. Uh, these guys are awesome, they're from Sweden. Uh, they are, they've been around since around 2002. They are totally 80s metal style, bringing back the old school rock and metal sounds of the 80s, uh, but new school. Uh, so yeah, Crazy Licks, with two X's, they're from Sweden, they got uh, their vocal styling, really reminds me of uh, bands like Def Leppard and Winger, to name a couple. I know Winger gets a bad rap, but uh, I like that band. and. Uh, they're tight as hell, and their guitar is shred, so check them out, go to crazylicks.com, and also there's so much stuff on YouTube, you can find theirs, videos, and whatnot, uh, so and thanks to them for uh, the intro there, uh, and thanks to Toku Joe for introducing me to their stuff, and this song, so yeah, for old time's sake, let's enjoy the old Stones intro. One last time, one last hurrah. Hello everybody, J-Rock here trying something a little different than I usually do. It is uh, December 1st, uh, right now it's 2.10 a.m., the wee hours of the morning. This is when I get most of my work done. Now, I'm setting a timer here for 10 minutes because I don't want it to be too long, but I'm trying my hand at video logs and why I am doing this, uh, not only to sip a nice hot beverage like everyone else seems to be doing lately. Mm, fuck, that's good. But uh, I'm doing this because I feel like I have a whole bunch of stuff on my backlog of videos that I've been working on and I actually haven't shot anything in like a few weeks. Uh, I'm on Xbox 360, so if anyone wants to add me to Xbox 360, if you got that and want to be friends on there, my gamer tag is just JRock Game Rocker, all one word. Leave all that info in the description, you know. That's way easier than putting it up on the screen. I'm not going to put a graphic, usually I would put like a graphic like a call out with the uh, letters, you know, J Rock Game Rocker, Xbox Gamer Tag. But no. No editing. Straightforward with a coffee. I look forward to that. Like so many ideas with my YouTube channel right now. And I just can't get it all done. I can't get it all shot and all edited the way I have it in my head. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to try this new video log thing every week. Uh, try to keep up with some, some of my ideas. To let people know what's going on in my head, see if I can get some feedback, let you know what's going on in my life, 
and just you know stay in touch so I'm not out of touch so yeah I better wrap up now before I go too long-winded talked about games I was playing projects I'm working on Tybalt and my snake Paul <laughs> Paul's a people name <laughs> not a snake's name <laughs> <sighs> well, been enjoying my coffee and this chat with you people. And I look forward to next time we have a little chat. This has been J-Rock, and keep on rocking them snakes. So what started out as what was intended to be an unedited video became this show that you see before you. Uh, you know, so for this episode, I thought it would be really cool that we could maybe take a look back and see the evolution of the show. We'll go over a couple of things. Uh, people had a lot of crazy things they wanted to see. Uh, they wanted to see handstands and stuff, and I don't know if I don't have time for that tonight. Uh, so much going on here, but uh, they wanted dancing ladies and dogs and tutus and... I don't know if I can arrange all that in short notice, so uh, sorry to let you guys down. Maybe in the future video I can make it up to you. But uh, for this, I'm doing a clip show, and it might seem like I'm doing the easy route, but I'm really not, because that means i got to sift through all the old stuff, which is kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look back at the evolution of the show. Yeah, it started out as being an unedited... It was intended to be unedited to save on that because I felt like it was daunting trying to get projects out and it became its own thing that is an editing process uh, which is crazy and uh, the first episode that editing really came into it uh, that I incorporated it into the show because I wanted it to not be edited I did it for Christmas is where I added some music and some effects, snow effects and everything uh, and yeah and then uh, some editing came back into play in episode uh, 8, which is the Tasty Games edition. I don't think that's a highlight, I think, of the last year from Between a Rock and a Hard Place. It's the Tasty Games trend. Remember that, guys? Uh, that uh, episode was the first episode where I abandoned the 10-minute limit, which the Cartridge Bros will never let me live down to this day, uh, more so P1 your heart on me buddy but I know it's tough love uh, so yeah that was episode 8 was Tasty Games and uh, then in episode 9 is when the intro got into introduced uh, the Stones intro and so did the classic J-Rock intros you know the one I mean the cold opens where I'm saying imagine you were in this situation and then the the thing starts, yeah. Well, uh, prepare yourself for a montage of that. Hey everybody, it's Monday, and you know what that means. Time for the 10th installment of... It's Monday morning and I'm here, so that can only mean one thing. You are... Well, 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 look who arrived. Looks like you've ended up... Hello, and welcome to the 15th weekly edition of... You just clicked on a video, and now you're face-to-face -face with a madman. You are... Welcome to my secret lair. It seems you've stumbled upon my trap, and you find yourself... I just did a slide transition in from the side, and that can only mean one thing. You are... You're walking down a dark alleyway, when suddenly you come face to face with this. What do you do? You are... I was too cool for school, but my mom made me go, so I know what it's like to be. You're a big J-Rock fan, but you're afraid of snakes. You are... I just transitioned in and now I'm doing another intro for you. It's almost as if, it's like, it's like there's a place here, right? And then there's like a place here and you're, and you're right here. It's like, it's like you're in the middle of something. It's, it's almost as if, it's like you're, yeah, it's like you're.
Here I am trying to think up a clever intro, and I got nothing. Looks like now I'm the one who's... You want to watch this video, but you're allergic to cats. I guess you are. What if you were a paranormal investigator and busted didn't really make you feel good? I guess you'd be... What if you had pets that wouldn't shut up when you tried to do videos? I guess you'd be... What if you were starting to grow hair in really weird places and thought you were turning into Sasquatch? I guess you'd be... So, people that fear change, shake in your booties, because this one's a little different. Doesn't matter what the backdrop is, you're still... I'm here to rock games and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. You are... For the 30th week in a row, you're nose to nose with me. You are... Hey kids, make sure to set your game rocker decoder watches to fun, because you are... You better watch this whole video, or I'll banish you to Dimension X, and then you'll really be... You have way too many games that you can't even play, but you can't help yourself but add more and more to the pile. I guess you are. Just imagine your significant other asked you to do something you didn't necessarily want to do. Then you know what it's like to be. Could you imagine being a fuzzy furry animal that nobody would stop touching? You'd really be... It's a rock. Some people don't have the time to watch more than 10 minutes of a YouTube video, but I got too much rocking to do for 10 minutes to contain. You are. Gather round, young pebbles, and hear a tale that can only happen. What if you had to turn your life upside down because of someone else's problem? I guess you'd be. That old conundrum when you can't decide whether to stay or to go. That's what it's like to be. You want to be a class act, but there's just too many shirts out there to express yourself. You are. Imagine if animals could talk. That could be both exciting and scary for the human race. What was that? Looks like the human race is... You thought you were in for a regular old episode. Well, this is a special episode. But make no mistake, you still are. If you missed all the regular segments and junk last week, never fear. You are. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a... Oh, with an opening like that, you know that you're... Tibble gets affectionate when he's hungry and he wants to be fed. But then I smother him. Looks like he got more than he bargained for. Looks like Tibbles. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. What if you put out some tasty, delicious donuts for people to enjoy, and someone pulled out a plastic bag and started filling it up and abusing the privilege of the free donuts? I guess you'd have to make a decision. I guess you'd be... It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Bat Rock. I guess you know where you are. Well, we've done this 50 times already. You know what this is, and you know what we have to do. Time to get gamey. Time to get rocky. Time to get... Between a rock and a hard place. Whoa! People are singing the theme in the showers. That means they're thinking about me when they're naked. I guess I really am. Have you ever wanted a can of ravioli but can't find your can opener? You'd be... Hello my fellow Pebbles. Today, I ask you where we would be without a show like this. A Wayne's World S. Grump.
hosted by our buddy J Rock the Game Rocker. I am afraid we would find ourselves. Oh my god, that was crazy. Sorry to put you through that guys. It took me a long time myself. Imagine you got that you got the edited version where it only took, you know, really small amounts of time. I got the had to record every one of them and it's crazy. I had to edit it all down. So I feel bad for you, but you should feel bad for me. But those are all the intros. I mean, it's uh, a little bit of a uh, pressure to come up with a new one each time but uh, I try to keep it fresh and there's all sorts of shitty situations you could be in that could make you be in between a rock and a hard place so life never has a, has a shortage of shitty situations so I think uh, yeah that has been a fun thing to do for the channel uh, doing those intros the next thing that got introduced in the evolution of the show was YouTube Shout Out of the Week. YouTube Shout Out of the Week! And uh, the first YouTube Shout of the Week came in episode 12, and that was John Riggs. Uh, because I had stumbled upon his uh, channel because he was eating old cereal, which I thought was really awesome. And I thought, you know, uh, having a YouTube channel myself, I could share awesome channels on my channel. So ever since, ever since, ever since then, I have done a YouTube shout out of the week every week. So let's do a montage of every YouTube shout out of the week.
was awesome and a lot more bearable than every intro I ever did. I can tell you that much. Uh, thanks, all you guys, for being a friend uh, and for rocking it on YouTube. Let's talk a bit more about the evolution of the show. And the next step in the evolution uh, was Word of the Week, which came in episode 14 with a very risque word. Uh, yeah, roll that clip. As well as I teaching everyone in the gaming community about the word Blumpkin. Which leads me to a new segment, Word of the Week! Yeah, Blumpkin, Word of the Week. I'm, uh, you know what, I gave much thought to whether or not I should explain, so what a Blumpkin is, is when a guy's on his on the tw he's taking his and then the chick is and so she's giving him while he's so that's what a blumpkin is. Sorry folks, here at Game Rocket Productions, we like to think we provide only the best, highest quality, family friendly, wholesome content. However, we're all mistakes and humans happen. We apologize for any mental scarring Blumpkin Gate may have caused. If irritation persists, please consult your physician because we refuse to help you. Enjoy the rest of the video. been uh, some goofy words not found in the dictionary. I like to learn new words in the English language. It's fascinating. Uh, the language is immense. Uh, it's like never-ending. Never-ending learning you could do with the English language. So I just like to share that passion on my channel and hopefully spread some knowledge because uh, some of these words that I come up with, I just learned myself. So I don't know all of them even, and I, it's a learning process. I like sharing it, and I hope you like it too, and I'm hoping to continue it as well in the future. Uh, so let's do a little roll of every word of the week and see if you can remember each one. And if you can remember each one, you guys get a cosmic high five. Schadenfreude, discombobulate, sesquibital. Minutia, curmudgeon, cholrophobia, fecundity, dyscalculia, logophile, teratoxism, ambrosia, sagacious, lethologica, absquatulate, superfluous, dubious, flabbergast, serendipitous, diurnal, heliolatry, blight, Dichotomy, colloquialism, plethora, ambivalent, lackadaisical, incumbent, conversant, masticate, indefatigable, and adroit. My friendship with uh, the Nestromancer really started blossoming around episode 15 and ever since then his music has been a big part of my show uh, so you know always a big thanks to Sean and yeah episode 15 is where he started being a part of the show right now I'm gonna do a YouTube shout out because uh, my buddy Sean the Nestromancer he is on fire in the past week he does covers uh, wicked covers on the guitar of uh, video game songs and uh, yeah, he has been on fire this week with so many different covers from uh, the Batman game, uh, Ninja Turtle game, Go Go 13. Like, he's just got so many songs that he's come out with this week, so I'm going to be putting those in in the background of this video. Yep, there's Tibble. He won't shut up. He's in the background of the video. He doesn't, he doesn't want to let Sean have this, this spot in the light. Hey, give somebody else a chance, okay? Anyways, uh, yeah, sorry. YouTube shout out to Sean, who's doing so awesome with his with his uh, videos and of covers of tunes. And yeah, just go check him out. And if you like the music, it's it's gonna be playing for my episode. I'm using it, buddy. And you can sue me if you want, but I don't think he is because he's cool. I'm not gonna sue me. And you know, just letting you know about his stuff. Episode 15 was a big evolutionary step because not only did the Nestromancer's music become a part of the show, but uh, the question for the viewers 
became a part of the show uh, every week. So uh, let's see what uh, my first question for the viewers was. Okay, and now a question for my viewers. Question for the viewers! I guess that's my announcing segment voice. It's so, uh, so stock, uh, stock audio. Oh, the work! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, here's my question for my viewers this week is, uh, would you be upset if I did a bi-weekly vlog? And by that I mean every two weeks, uh, because I find, uh, Sunday nights now have become my shoot vlog, edit vlog, get my vlog out night, and I could use this time to edit some other videos, so I'm thinking about balancing that out better. And also, I don't want to get burnt out on the vlogs and get tired of them and resent having to do them. So, uh, yeah, would you be opposed to a bi-weekly bi vlog if I was able to, instead of a vlog, get a different video kind of in there instead? So, yeah, just thinking about that. I, I like the idea of the weekly thing, but I do have to better uh, split up my time. So I'm thinking to do that and get a variety of content out there. Finally get to some things that, I, that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. So yeah. Interesting question. Perhaps we'll touch on that later. So what do I like to do with my channel? You know, uh, with my channel, it's uh, I like to share games, obviously. You've seen my collection grow, if you've been watching all that time. Even going through the clips, I've seen the shelves grow and move and everything evolve. and. It's a evolution over time, the channel and life and everything, and doing the YouTube channel is really cool, uh, and to be able to have that log for yourself later, and others, uh, loved ones perhaps later, uh, and uh, so on my channel, not only have I liked to do like the gaming and stuff, but also animals, let me see if I can dig one of these guys up. Yeah, it's my buddy! Timbot, look. Look in here. Look in here, dummy. Ah! Ah, St. Fanda! The Mimikissima! Oh, look who it is! It's my buddy Tibbalt. He was having a nap. See, he's he's alive and well. Doing, doing well. My baby. Ah! Oh. My baby! Here, you get comfortable. Get comfortable there. Yeah, we'll just hold you like a baby. Yeah, so, uh, he's been in a couple of my videos. People seem to like Tibbalt and, you know, like him enough to start a save Tibbalt hashtag, which I don't know what that's about. He's in, he's really in no immediate danger, I swear. This is my close friend Tibbalt. He's a cat, if you can notice. Him and I are pretty close. You know what? If you don't like and subscribe to this video, I'm just gonna have to bludgeon him to death with this. This nice heavy claw hammer. And if you don't like this video and subscribe to my channel, then I'm gonna blow this cat's fucking head off. Away? Why are you trying to run away? You're famous. I was thinking with like these video logs, I could try to do like have a coffee as well as like have my kitty. So kitty slash coffee time. It's coffee time. It's kitty time. Tibble time. He's here to stay. Unless he's not, cause you don't subscribe, that's some song, better subscribe, or else something bad will happen to this guy, blah blah blah. I'm not asking for a lot, just click that little red subscribe button, or the next time you see this cat with this hammer, it's not gonna be so pleasant. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna let you know, hopefully you don't, nobody has any phobias here, but uh, I have a pet snake. 
Yeah, he's he's in a ball right now because he is a ball python. He, he, he was sleeping, I woke him up. He was all curled up in his cave. Had him for a few years. Probably, probably about four years, I think. Uh, yeah. Cool. He's really awesome. You know, people are afraid of snakes, but they shouldn't be. Because, like, look at this. Yeah, he would never bite me. Yeah, he's really cool, and he's not venomous, and he's my buddy. And yeah, it's Paul. Paul the snake with a, the, the snake with a people name. That's him. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. Shenanigans. Get into snake shenanigans. Do snaky stuff. Come on. You're on camera. That's kind of cool. Watch. Watch how he... He's, oh. Moves his tail up to wrap on me. So he likes to have a firm grip on his dad. What's that? See yourself? <laughs> and what my wife got was a new addition to the family. Let me introduce you to, I don't know if you noticed, but there is a cage here. This is Sir Ruprecht the Turd. Sir Ruprecht Teeny Tibbled Esquire the Turd. Oh, look at him. He's so much bigger now. He used to be such a little boy. Ruprecht used to be such a little boy. He's such a big boy now. It's cool to see the growth of the pets too, uh, going through the footage. Oh, are you happy? Are you happy? Oh, is he happy? Let's see if we could get some footage of him being cute. Him being cute and licking my hand. Wanna lick my hand? Lick my hand. Lick my hand. Lick my hand. Hey, look. Here, come on. Come on. A little, a little scared right now. This is my buddy Alfred. This is he's he's a new he's our new rad, Alfred. He's a little bit bigger than Ruprecht, hey? You're bigger than Rupak because he's a few months old, older than him. Uh, I think he's about five months old or something, three months old or something. But he is really soft. He is really soft fur. He is a Russian blue as well. And, of course, named him Alfred after Batman's butler. Because he just, he looks, this guy, he looks older. And uh, he looks like he's wise and, you know, like Alfred. And Alfred! There he is! My buddy! Oh. Alfred! Alfred, you monkey boy! So yeah, that's animals, and I love animals. You're going to continue to see animals, even more animals, in my show, because I've talked to my friend at the reptile store, Rob, and we're going to do some videos over there, and he's going to teach us a little bit about some exotic animals, because he's really knowledgeable. And I love animals! So that's going to be a cool little part of the show, and uh, what a good segue to talk about what's next. Uh, for the show, what's next for Between a Rock and a Hard Place. Uh, I plan on adding more people from my life, uh, friends, family, uh, and, you know, doing more on-location things, uh, but also to do with my question that I had from uh, the first question of the, for the viewer, uh, that I showed earlier, and that's, uh, I think, from now on, 
between a rock and a hard place is going to be every two weeks. Uh, not every week. It's a bit too much to take on, and I feel, just like I said in that video there from earlier, uh, that I could do other things. And so, what I'm going to do is only do between a rock and a hard place every two weeks. And then in the off weeks, I'll be able to get out some other material. Believe me, I got lots of stuff on my computer waiting even to be done some tutorials from a long time ago uh, that need to be done and I'm gonna do those uh, in little segments I'm gonna call uh, the Game Rocker Vault so you're gonna be seeing some old stuff and some new things uh, be able to you know people have tagged me and stuff people have challenged me to things and I'm going to do those so thank you everybody who's tuned in for this year of uh, me doing a video every week and who have been very encouraging and believed in me and uh, yeah uh, thank you for your support I'm gonna continue to do the show but it'll be every two weeks and uh, so you know what that's probably gonna be more of a longer show we're not going back to 10 minutes so we're probably gonna be in the 20 to 30 minute range for shows from now on because uh, every two weeks that'll be enough content to come up with the show. And uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking forward to as well, is it will up the quality of the show, I'm hoping, because I'll have more time to put them together. Uh, so that is a good thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning into the show, guys. This has been J-Rock, and what do we say? Keep on rocking them games. Keep rocking them games. Keep rocking them games. Keep on rockin' them gameses. Try it again. Keep on rockin' them games. What are you doing? <laughs> Keep rockin' them games. Keep on rockin' them games. I keep on rockin' them games. I am Matt Fox from One Up Game. Keep on rockin' them games. Is that better? Okay, just try to do it one time without okay. fucking up. <laughs> keep on rockin' them games. Keep rockin' them games. Keep on rocking them games. Keep rocking them games. Keep on rocking them games. Yeah. Yep. Keep on rocking them games. Yay! Okay. I'm Can I do it one? Yeah. Don't tell me. Tell the people. No, tell one more time before. <laughs> I'm Matt Fox from One Up Games. Keep on rocking them games. I'm Matt Fox from One Up Games. Keep on rocking them games. That's right. Keep on rocking them games. Thank you so much for joining me every week for a year between a rock and a hard place, guys. Really means a lot to me. Click the window at the top left if you missed last week's episode. Or if you want to go take a look back in the time capsule, check out episode 1 by clicking the window on the right. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Thanks to the Nestromancer for letting me use his masterful video game covers in my series. Well, maybe I'll see you next week and maybe I won't. I'm not making any promises. One thing I know is I've earned the right to relax. See you when I see you guys.